In this next example, we're going to see how to do some fancy masking with text. Let's use our Autumn Photo 2 that's in our Text Tricks folder. And again, I'm going to resize mine for demonstration purposes. I'm even going to make mine a little smaller. My screen's a lot smaller than yours is. The one you're using in class there, we can see the entire picture now. Again, the text font you choose helps enhance any text effect. On this one, I'm going to go with an elephant text. Elephant, elephant, there we go. And for mine, uh, my example 48 is a good font size. Of course, depending on the size of your graphic, if you didn't resize it, you may want something better. Bigger, I mean. I want something bigger, bigger and better. And let's type out something here. How about pretty autumn colors? And I'm going to move this around so it actually, I want it bigger. 96 or 48 wasn't quite big enough. And I might just use the scale tool instead of trying to play with the font to get it uh, to where it fills up the screen. And I'm going to move it over. Uh, the different part of the screen so I get a little bit of the sky a little bit and a good bit of the uh, leaves and a little bit of the mountain background there. Next we want to convert the text to a path so we'll make sure the text box this text box is selected and we'll choose the text menu and the convert to paths command and again if you use the sub selection tool and you hover over any piece of the text, you can see that it's been changed to a path. Okay, before we go any further, let's check our canvas color. I've gone to the modify menu, chosen the canvas option and choosing the canvas color command. And we wanna make sure it's set to white, if it's not already. It may be set to transparent, so you may have to change it to white. And then in our layers panel, let's choose both the text and background layers. I'm holding down the shift key while I select those, so both of them will be selected. Then from the modify menu, we're going to choose the mask option and the group as mask command. Right away, you may think you've just taken an epic voyage on the fail boat, but don't panic. Let's come over to the layers panel again and click on the background icon. Now you'll see in the properties panel the options to change the mask options. We want a path outline. We want to choose the path outline option. And we want to also show the fill and stroke option. So now you can see your pretty autumn colors. You could also enhance this uh, text a little bit more by adding a filter. In particular the bevel filter again use a raised embossed or any other ones that you might play around with till you get a nice looking uh, text effect. Would you look at that? 